What's going on legends? This is Rowan from Optimize FX and you're watching another thousand dollar FXTM demo forward test video and I know it's been two weeks however um, I've got a pretty good video for you today. Looking at the charts here I'm gonna get right into it actually. Looking at the charts here we have my FX book and we can see that we have uh, lots of up and down happening here especially with two uh, two robots and I wanted to have a quick chat about those robots uh, plus another one as well and why I'll be removing them from the challenge and I'll be testing um, three new robots uh, that I'm yet to decide on but I'll do it this week um, so what have we got here uh, we have one of them which is Gold Nix or Life Changer and the other one is EA or a hedge. Uh, plus the other one is, uh, I think it's R factor. Anyway, but we'll, we'll get back to that one. Um, so with Goldnix and uh, Aura Hedge, uh, they are very good robots, and uh, I'm not removing them for the reason that you can see here that they have, you know, almost blown the accounts twice, three times. Um, that is not the reason. I think the reason would be is that. Um, I think we've done enough forward testing with these two robots and we can conclude that um, yes they they can definitely uh, they are definitely capable of making a lot of money in a short period of time however you need to be extremely careful uh, with your risk to reward ratio and what I mean by that is um, how much drawdown you're prepared to go into uh, for profit and it all depends on the settings as well and how much risk you want to put out there. But I think with these two robots, um, yeah, they've proven, proven themselves to be able to make money. And that's, that's, that's essentially what I want to test, uh, why I test robots as well, is because um, there's a lot of robots out there. And we need to um, weed through all the good ones from the crap ones. And, uh, you know, I've put robots on forward tests before that have done nothing but lose money. Uh, but they've back tested really, really well. So this is the whole reason why I forward test robots. And, um, you know, I do it for my research, but I also wanted to share it with all of you. And that's the whole reason why I started this Forex um, trading channel uh, with robots. So without further ado, I'll just quickly go through this. Um, and uh, we'll have a look at some figures. So these are all the figures here on my FX book. Uh, for those that are asking, um, for me to make this public, I'd need to make every single one of these accounts public, and that's just a bit of bit of time to do that. Uh, so just give me give me a minute, and I can uh, I can get it done. But uh, we've got FX Stabilizer, which has had a max drawdown of fourteen point eight seven percent. That started on ten thousand uh, dollars, well ten thousand two hundred sixty seven to be exact, really. And we're using a fixed lot of 0 0.1, uh, and it's had a drawdown of 14.87%. Now I think that's, it's had a, a gain of 36.21% in, I think this challenge has been going now for 140 days. So, you know, 36% uh, over 140 days with a drawdown of 14.87. Uh, uh, I think that is really, really, really good. And um, unfortunately, FX Stabilizer only works on EURUSD, but I'm also testing it on uh, AUDUSD as well because uh, I tried best testing it on other pairs, and um, it's just not set up to to um, modify. It can open orders, but it's not set up to modify orders on other pairs. So uh, just be very, very careful um, if you've got FX Stabilizer, the Euro version. They do have a Pro version um, that is not restricted to a lot of pairs. Um, you can go to their website but to get that and have a look at that. Um, but yeah, so I, just on EURUSD, I think it's proving itself to be really, really good. Um, next one is Gold Nix Life Changer. So it um, Gold had a really big move up last week, and um, essentially it just ran out of uh, run out of margin, and it, it pretty much blew the account again. Well, it, you know, margin called itself and it went it went back down to a thousand dollars, so at a thousand thousand seventy four or thousand one hundred and twenty eight dollars is where it's at. Um, or a hedge, it it did blow the account. 
and I'll get to those um, terminals soon to show you uh, what happened there. But those are the two I'll be replacing and I'll probably start them on fresh accounts. Uh, FX Scalper X is actually really surprising me lately. Um, it did have a period where it wasn't trading too well, it wasn't making much money uh, and it was in more drawdown than it had made at, at points. Um, but the last couple of weeks it's been trading extremely well and it is almost 100% um, profit or gain, the account, uh, in the whole time that it's been running. I have been changing the settings a little bit. I've got it on medium risk, um, but yeah, it's it, lately it has been impressive, which is good. Um, Promax EA has been trading quite well as well. Um, uh, it's made $147 since it started, probably, I think it's about six weeks ago. Um, but slightly but surely, which is good. Uh, now, R Factor is one that I have stopped running on this computer, and the reason being is that um, I'm pretty sure that was the one that was making the computer play up, and it was um, making the computer blue screen and shut off all the time on me. So I haven't had it on for the whole of last week, and I have not had one issue with the computer so <laughs> so I think it might have something to do with a dodgy terminal or or maybe the the robot um, is a bit dodgy or maybe you know there was a zero divide or something in there that would cause it to uh, make the computer blue screen and shut down so um, I'm concluding uh, the testing on R factor like it's been going for you know 140 days as well. It's made $293. It doesn't trade very often. Um, do I recommend it? Um, maybe if you got the legit version, yes. Uh, you know, it's only had a drawdown of 9.18%. And yeah, it's you know if if you've if you want something that you can just sit and forget, um, I definitely would recommend that. It is very slow. Um, you know, it, but it's made 28.89%. Uh, on, on that account. So it's made $300 on a thousand in that time. Um, so it's definitely one to have a think about and put in your arsenal uh, of, of robots. Um, I think maybe the the version that I've got is not that great. So anyway, um, Leprechaun, uh, it, uh, it's new and it's insane. Uh, had a drawdown of 24.7%. It's currently uh, in a drawdown at the moment uh, with some crazy orders going on because I just um, just remembered that I didn't put this laptop on this morning so it has been off uh, since market opened for probably about five hours which didn't help uh, the situation but uh, it is what it is uh, but you know it's made 5,000 profit on a 10,000 account it's already done 53 percent in a few weeks so um, but it is crazy. It's trading gold. It's crazy. And if you like crazy and risky stuff, the Leprechaun might be the EA for you. Um, Pinpoint is another one that I might actually stop uh, testing because I think it's proven itself to be um, quite a good stable robot. And you know, it's it's only on it's it trades very rarely, and most of the trades it it does it's um, it makes money on. So. It's made $177 since it started. Uh, I think I've changed a lot to 0 0.1. And, um, you know, it's definitely an EA I would have uh, in my portfolio, for sure. Ranger EA as well. Um, I'm very impressed with it. And, uh, you know, it's only had 21% drawdown. It's made 40% on the account in that time as well. Uh, so both of those EAs combined, um, you know, almost 60% profit uh, if you had them in, in there. So I'd definitely, uh, if I was looking to have a portfolio of robots when I when I will, uh, eventually, uh, I think those two will be a part of it. And uh, last but not least, we've got Alpha GI version 2, and it has made $53 so far, but with a drawdown of 20%. So uh, might be worth looking at some settings here that could be contributed to me having the computer um, off uh, last week, not last week, but the week before, uh, when I was having issues with the computer. So uh, let's see how it goes 
uh, this week, but last week it traded quite well. It didn't trade very often, uh, but it traded quite well. So that is um, that is just the, the review of uh, all the figures in the uh, MyFX book. And if you're not a subscriber yet, don't forget to head over to the channel and hit that subscribe button and the like button because it really helps my channel get a boost and I really, really appreciate it. So that'd be awesome. Now we'll get rid of... Uh, We'll get rid of Chrome and we'll have a look at some charts. So uh, as we can see here, we've got FX Stabilizer in now uh, in a bit of drawdown. It's nothing really, like $368 on, on $14,000 is nothing um, in terms of drawdown. Like what is it? Three? It's, it's saying it's 3.3% or 3.5% it got to. So, um, so drawdown is coming down a little bit and uh, its take profit is down here at the moment so uh, we'll see how it goes but yeah it starts on 0 0.10 then it goes to 0 0.2 then 4 the only thing about FX stabilizer is that on turbo um, the multiplier is on 2 so it's times 2 whereas on durable it is not so just uh, just be aware of that and also I found out if you have it on mini lot uh, if you turn this on, uh, auto risk will then work, and then you can change your risk limit. So that's something that I actually didn't know, and I found that out. Um, I thought mini lot was like for a cent account or something like that, but I might actually put it on a cent account and um, see how it goes, uh, and and use auto risk. So we'll see. But yeah, I'm really impressed. Uh, really impressed with FX stabilizer. It's not something that's going to make me millions in a year, uh, but then again I don't think any EA will unless you are um, got some crazy risk tolerance but uh, <laughs> and you've got a lot of equity of course but um, I think it's definitely uh, definitely a good good EA, it's probably one of the uh, it lives up to its name, it's one of the most stable robots that I've tested uh, sure it has got into a little bit of drawdown um, you know I think what was it can't remember now, but I think 20% was a bit, like two grand, but hey, uh, it's it's done really well. Uh, Gold Nix, um, Gold Nix, I changed the settings, so it uh, it went down to a thousand. So for the month, it's down six thousand two hundred and fifty-five, uh, but the week this week, dollar eighty-two so far. Um, so I change the multiplier to 1.5. It's got a step of 15, take profit of 20. I made that a little bit smaller, and we are have having a trailing stop on. So um, I've just changed it to 0 0.01 lots again. But uh, yeah, I think I'll get rid of this EA in favour of another one. Or a hedge, same thing. Um, I think trading. I think trading two at a time. It was gold that uh, that blew. That made it blow the account. Um, it is a really volatile currency to trade, so just be really careful uh, with it. And I only, only had it at uh, 0.03 lots to start, and a multiplier of 1.21, and it had distance of 20, and it still blew all that money. So uh, just be really careful uh, if you're going to um, use Aura Hedge, but. Um, the thing is with the hedge though, it only activates after 60%. So, um, yeah, it, it might be worth having a look at some better better settings for the hedge to control the hedge. Um, but yeah, we'll see how we go. But I think, yeah, I think testing is done with Oro. We've tested it. Um, we've found that with the right market conditions, especially in the first uh, first month of testing this, um, it made a heap of money. I think it was just a really, really good run, and then it lost it. So, um, if you're happy with that risk tolerance, um, go for it by all means. Um, it does require a, a pretty much a ranging um, pair. Like if gold is ranging, perfect. Um, put on, put it on here and uh, let it go, and it will make you a heap of money. FX upper X. I've already talked about that. Um, so we are using medium risk and auto lot 
everything else uh, you can see here is I think default uh, and all these pairs here that you can see except for uh, except for that USD CHF one of the USD CHF is just the FX blue so all these pairs here uh, it does change the time frame as it trades but yeah traded this euro USD move up quite well which is good um, Promax no it trades open nothing today I don't think it trades Monday so that's quite interesting uh, this is Leprechaun, so this is one I said was down two grand. It was down two grand at the moment. Um, so I think, yeah, I, I turned it on uh, after gold's moved up a little bit more and then it's come back a bit. So we'll see how it goes. Um, uh, see how it goes there. But yeah, it's, it's normal for it to have, you know, down 2,000 at the moment. So. Um, Pinpoint, uh, yeah, I already talked about that. I think it's really, really good. I think testing is done with it. It's probably another one I can remove. I have changed the lots to 0 0.1. Uh, everything else, I believe, is the same. So, um, yeah, I'm really happy with how it trades. There might be some better settings for it. I'm not sure. And, uh, yeah, well, I'm really happy with Pinpoint. Uh, Ranger as well, I think it's running just default settings, really happy with Ranger as well. And last but not least we've got Alpha GI which is down $17 at the moment, uh, which didn't help me uh, turning the laptop later. And uh, that pretty much rounds up uh, this video, and uh, yeah, again, sorry for the delay uh, of the video, well, my actual main desktop computer uh, went down last week and uh, it turned out to be um, either the motherboard or the CPU that went down um, I'm not exactly sure which yet yet to find out but yeah I've went out and got um, a totally new combo so um, yeah I spent last night and this morning um, getting that all fixed up so I can then do some more back testing and uh, testing some more robots to, to share with you all so um, if you've got any suggestions for robots that you'd like uh, me to swap those other ones out with, um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, um, you're more than welcome to um, share and have a chat with me uh, on Telegram as well. I'll try and be a bit more active on there this week. So, but yeah, that rounds up this video. Um, I do have the Scent versus Real demo um, com comparison video and update of that um, also coming out so I'll be recording that after this but thanks again for watching uh, this is Ron from Optimize Effects you're all legends and I'll see you in the next video bye bye